Hey everyone, so I got a comment on my recent Arvolution Player Pro 8K video that basically said, why upscale to 4K or 8K? You can't add detail that wasn't recorded. Any improvement is just a trick. That's really an understandable take. For a long time, upscaling was just stretching pixels and sharpening them. We've all seen those overly crisp, artificial looking images, and honestly, I've created some myself. But that was then, and the tech has changed a lot. So instead of replying just in the comments, I thought this would actually make a fun conversation here because upscaling in 2025, well, it wasn't what it was five or 10 years ago. So I wanna start with the old school stuff really quick. Traditional upscaling was literally just math. You take a lower res image, blow it up, and guess what the missing pixel should be based on neighboring ones. That's why everything, well, just looks soft or overly sharpened, and it wasn't actually creating more detail at all. And that's where the whole you can't invent detail argument came from. Totally fair for that era. But now we've got AI-based and neural upscalers where the goal isn't to just stretch pixels, it's to reconstruct detail. Now these models are trained on huge data sets of textures, edges, and patterns so they can redraw detail in a way that looks far more natural. So if you show the AI a blurry brick wall, it's not just adding sharpening, it's rebuilding the texture because it knows what bricks should look like. It's still not magically turning 1080p into native 8K, but it's way beyond fake sharpness. Now something else that also gets overlooked, where the upscaling actually happens. Most TVs do have built-in upscaling, but they're not always great. They have limited processing power and the priority is in real-time performance, not running complex neural models. So if a player does that work before the TV touches a signal, you're potentially getting a cleaner image with fewer processing layers. And yeah, sometimes you can push it way too far and it starts to look artificial, but when it's done well, it can look noticeably better than whatever the TV is doing by default. Now, what we're talking about here is totally different than what James Cameron did with True Lies. If you're familiar with that whole controversy, he basically used AI to remaster his movies and basically made them look, well, very weird in a lot of scenes. Now, the the jury's out if you like that or not, but as a film purist, it does not look like it originally did. It doesn't even look like film. There is something to be said about taking things too far, and even big Hollywood directors will do it. And honestly, it's something that needs to be addressed as well. Now back to our conversation, and if you're still skeptical on AI upscaling, look at what's happening in gaming. We have DLSS, FSR, XCSS. They're all doing reconstructive upscaling. People are playing at 1080p or 1440p and getting visuals that look like, or sometimes even cleaner than, native 4K. And that's something that I say goes beyond placebo. We're actually reconstructing the image from 1080p to 4K, and it looks better 99% of the time than a native 4K image, that's crazy. NVIDIA's newer transformer-based models literally add detail that wasn't even rendered at all. Now that's not just resizing, that's rebuilding. So it does feel kind of weird that we accept AI reconstruction in games, but still talk about video upscaling like it's 2012. To me, the conversation isn't does upscaling work? It's more how good is the model, where is the processing done? And is it enhancing the image or just making it look edgy and artificial? Now we're still early, especially in the media player space, but the tech is moving toward real reconstruction, not just glorified sharpening filters. Anyway, I thought that this was worth making a quick video about because I still see a lot of people online saying upscaling is pointless or just visual trickery. And that may have been true once, but that's not really where things are now. But what do you guys all think? Are you happy watching everything at native resolution or are you open to AI doing some smart reconstruction if it actually looks better? Let me know in the comments down below. I would absolutely love to hear your take. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful at all, feel free to give it a like. Also consider subscribing. I try to post new content every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.